everyone, what's up? It is me, Micah, and welcome to another Life and Favorites video. channel ko. Hello and welcome to my channel. But for those of you na matagal na nanonood ng mga videos ko, then alam nyo na yung life and favorites videos ko are about my favorite learnings for the month along with my favorite items that I've been loving. Not gonna keep you guys too long, so wala akong lippy of the day today just because I don't feel comfortable wearing lipstick right now. So... Wow, this is all natural, as if there is much color. So now, let's move right into my life favorite for the month. I'm not sure kung napansin nyo, pero iba na yung background natin today. And you guys have never seen this background. Actually, I moved in, of course, to a new home with my husband, Adrian Christian. Oi! Yes, so that means I'm now an official oi as well. We got married a couple of Saturdays ago, and it's been a bliss since. And past, I think, two to three weeks that we've been married, I feel like so much has changed already. It's a huge transition from being a daughter of my mom who lives in her house to now a wife of my husband who is running her own household. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's definitely been a season of stretching upon stretching upon stretching. And it's only been three weeks. Three weeks from when you guys are watching this video. Before, when I used to live with my mom, she would do most of the chores and she would also do the cooking because I get really busy with content creating and work in general. And I'd always get worried now when I get married, paano kaya yun? Kasi syempre, lahat ng ginagawa ng mom ko or sometimes my sister, ako na lahat gagawa in my own home. So going back, in the past three years that AJ and I have been married, I think the biggest lesson that this season so far has taught me is to be selfless. And of course, with selflessness comes a lot of humility as well. Now that I am a wife, I'm not only living for myself anymore, but I'm living to serve my husband as well. We are now technically one flesh. And yes, there are some things that are sa akin, like yun nga, yung time ko on my phone, or you know, I now have less time for my friends. But to me, that is one of the most beautiful things about marriage, you know? Taking you into a different season, discovering you and your husband and your rhythm with each other and how you will go about with life together. Our jobs are a good mix. Adrian has his own thing and I have mine. But of course, we work for each other and together to balance our life with each other, basically. I'm so freshly married and there's so much for me to learn and so much for us to go through as a couple but for now I am so grateful that God has been opening up my eyes opening up my heart and even my entire soul and being accepting Adrian fully as my other half as someone who I should be selfless to I will say this over and over again if I need to it is so wonderful to submit and not a lot of people see the beauty in submitting but take note that submission takes a lot of humility and the character of being humble should not just be exuded by the people who are in lower positions but in leaders as well. There is power in humility, there is power in submission, there is power in selflessness. I mean, just take a look at Jesus' life. If he were not humble, if he were not lowly, and if he were not gentle, then we wouldn't be where we are today. We'd probably still be sacrificing goats, lambs, bulls, and all these different animals in order to be forgiven for our sins. But it's just not like that anymore because of Jesus Christ. And so many other things have changed because of him. Imagine a God who is blameless, perfect, dying for you. Someone who is imperfect, someone who is undeserving. Yet with open arms, he tells you he loves you. And he's willing to accept you, accept us if we believe through faith. So for my first life favorite as a wife, that is something that I want to impart to all of you. Something that I want to cultivate and grow within myself. Selflessness and humility.
Now moving on to my favorite items this April 2021. I am so excited to share all of these things with you guys because we are gonna focus on skincare and home services, home decor, furniture, appliances, and so much more. I'm gonna try to crap it all up on this one video. So, sa una magsisimula muna tayo sa skincare. You guys know that I love skincare and up until now, I still try to make as much time as I can for it. I posted my nighttime skincare routine, I think a couple of months or weeks Back. If you guys did not see that, then I'm going to link that in the description box below. On that video, I featured a brand called Common Labs. They are a Korean skincare brand and they're actually very well known in Korea. They believe that true beauty comes from well-being. Their focus is really more on the vitamins and they believe that vitamins are the key ingredients to anti-aging, which ultimately strengthens the foundation of the skin. First and my absolute favorite is this vitamin E calming ampule. This is made more for those who have acne prone skin. This is really good for skin protection or to reduce inflammation as well. This ampule by Common Labs is actually infused with their patented ingredient called Gasolza. Now, Gasolza is antibacterial, it is anti inflammatory, and it also helps suppress sebum. You guys wouldn't want sebum on your face because sebum can cause a lot of infections and other skin problems that you wouldn't want to face. There are so many reasons why I love this ampule. I actually use this at night. If you guys can tell, I use it way too much. I have no choice but to look at this bottle half empty because it certainly is not half full. I don't let the applicator touch my hands because that can bring bacteria onto the applicator, infecting the rest of the product and you wouldn't want that to happen. So I do about four drops on my hands. I work it around and then pat it on my face. Even on a hot summer night you won't even have to worry about your face feeling icky and again sticky because it's very comfortable. Siyempre, hindi ko naman siya magiging favorite if it's not effective. Next up is also an absolute favorite of mine. Wow, lahat naman sila favorite ko guys. Doon sa favorites video ko nga, diba? We have this Common Labs Vitamin C Brightening Gel Cream. Now, this is made out of pure vitamin C and I just love it so much. I remember the first night that Adrian and I were together and I applied this on my face. He told me that I'm bango bango do ng face ko. Now, this gel absorbs very quickly on the face. Again, you don't have to worry na baka mamaya ang lagkit-lagkit niya sa mukha, it won't do that at all. So what I do is I just get a good amount. Actually, you can use the spatula that this comes with but now I store it in the refrigerator and I just use my hands to scoop out the product that I will use for my face. Again, I work it sa kamay ko tapos nun, I just pat it around until it fully absorbs. I noticed na napakaganda nito for people who have very dull looking skin. Yun yung pinaka ayoko kasi yung okay naman yung skin mo hindi ka naman mo pimples pero walang brightness and this gives me just that this definitely boosts the glow and brightness of my skin I noticed na pagkagising ko iba talaga yung brightness ng mukha ko whenever I use this I know because now I have someone to wake up to to tell me that I'm pretty in the morning <laughs> By the way, if you guys are interested in any of the products that I will be showing you today, then don't you worry because I will be linking where you guys can buy these Common Labs products in the description box below. Last but definitely not the least sa ating skincare favorite for the month of April is of course a product from Common Labs once again. We have this Vitamin E Micro Needle Spot Cream. Micro needles! That sounds scary, but don't be scared. It's actually very easy to use. But before we get to the how to use it, sasabihin ko muna sa inyo of course yung product benefits. This is very good for people who have dark marks, acne spots. This will make that disappear in a matter of days and I can attest to that. This little product right here has tea tree leaves extracts which can really help reduce the emission of sebum and as well as acne from your face. And apart from that, I 
ayun, meron nga siyang micro needles. Now, what micro needles will do is that they will kind of break down your face in the beginning in order for it to activate the collagen to build that skin up once again to its natural beautiful form. So how exactly does it work? You just pop the lid open, you press it right over here so that the product will be secreted from the tip of the applicator and then all you have to do is massage it on your concern areas. That's it. Make sure na ito yung pinakahuling step ng skincare nyo kasi kapag nag-apply pa kayo ng ibang products on your face, yung micro needles baka mag-spread around some areas na hindi dapat malagyan ng micro needles like your under eyes or your eyes. Micro needles can stay up to 70 hours. Kaya make sure to use this every 2 to 3 days only. I cannot rave enough about this product. I don't use anything anymore for my pimples except this one. I just, I love it so much. Moving on to everything home related, mapa service, mapa decor, mapa appliances, lahat ng yan dito natin pag uusapan sa segment na to. Pero magsisimula muna ako sa service kasi nag-iisa lang naman siya. We hired team All Hail Clean to basically do some general cleaning around our apartment pagkatapos namin magpabarena. Actually, All Hail Clean has been doing our laundry for the past couple of weeks and I really really, really love the way they did our laundry. Kasi first of all, kapag kinukuha siya dito, they always come on time. And that's very important kasi ako, I'm an organized person and I like doing things by the dot. Second of all, kapag wabalik yung laundry, it only takes like 24 to 48 hours if I'm not mistaken. Sobrang bilis. Mind you, sa laundry namin, may mga towels, sandamakmak na damit because we keep changing, especially kapag lumalabas kami. May mga kumot, pillowcases, and whatnot. Ang bilis nilang gumalaw. At pagbalik dito, folded na lahat. Wala ka na kailangan isipin. I-segregate mo na lang siya depending on sa ang closet or storage siya mapupunta. And my favorite part is super bango ng lahat ng clothes and basically lahat ng mga fabrics na pinapadala namin sa kanila for long. I could not be happier about how they thoroughly cleaned our apartment. Meron kasi kami yung comparison. I feel like the first time coming ng general cleaning before we moved in all of our things here at home, we were not that satisfied. In fact, nagkaroon pa kami ng onting problem Kaya nung nabook namin si All Hail Clean, to be honest, medyo kinakabahan talaga ako. But si Ate Connie and si Ate Maria, they knew exactly what they were doing. In fact, every time that I would ask them questions about cleaning, how to clean this and that, they had very knowledgeable answers. And I believe that the reason for that is their experience as well. Years na silang naglilinis ng iba't ibang mga bahay, mga apartments, offices, and whatnot. And yung pinaka nagustuhan tuhan ko sa kanila was how keen they were when it comes to the details. Hindi lang sweeping, hindi lang vacuuming, hindi lang mopping, pero papabanguhin pa nila talaga. Lahat ng sulok, kahit hindi na kailangan daang-daanan, dadaanan pa rin nila. Kahit palinis na yung part na yun, dadaanan at dadaanan pa rin nila. Gulat ako because they went beyond what I expected. Hindi ko inexpect na naglilinis pala sila ng mga drain sa banyo. Hindi ko inexpect na kasama pa yon. Meron din ako ibang mga plates and leftovers na nasa sink. And hindi ko rin silang inexpect na linisin pa yon kasi iniisip ko na ako na maglilinis nun pagtatas nilang mag-ayos. But they cleaned it. Pagka-check ko. In terms of expectations, they've not just met my expectations but they have exceeded it. So thank you so much to All Hail Clean for being so professional. We can't wait to hire you guys again for cleaning services and syempre laundry weekly naman yan. Okay guys, now for the fun part, I'm gonna actually bring you around siguro sa bahay na lang para mapakita ko sa inyo yung iba't ibang mga decor items that I have accumulated for our home and of course, sasabihin ko rin sa inyo kung saan ko sila nakuha. Let's get started! I have so many different bowls that I have been obsessing about. So lahat ng to, mga vintage sila na nakukuha ko from Earth and clay pH. Well, actually not all of them, but this is just one of them. Just look at that beautiful glazed detail, diba? Super ganda. So this is actually our drop zone. Dito namin nilalagay yung mga gamit namin na dapat mabilisan lang namin nari-reach just like our keys. Ito, panukat 
Tapos, yung key namin para makalabas, flashlight, pen. This little alabaster type jar also came from Earth and Clay PH. I love it kasi ang ganda niya paired with this other jar that I got naman from Carousel. Yan, nilagay ko siya sa ibabaw ng ref namin. I also got this from Earth and Clay na ngayon ginagamit namin sa mga longganisa, chicken, and other different meals na gusto kong maganda yung plato niya for presentation. Supposedly, dapat nandun to sa center table namin pero I saw na mas functional siya kapag syempre ginagamit siya talaga for what it's made for. Another one, sobrang scene stealer nito. I use it for decor and I also use it kapag may mga guests for them to be able to drink from. These are textured vintage cups, meaning hindi sila naglaze. I got this from Shop This Tiny Home on Instagram as well. Every time I iinom dito, tatanong nila sa akin kung saan ko to nabili kasi they are just so different from your regular cups. I mean, just look at that! Beautiful and unique! Also, sorry, merong pang leftover kanin from a while ago. This little Moroccan looking piece right here also came from Shop This Tiny Home. Ang gustong gusto ko dito is that it's also unglazed and ang ganda nung iba-ibang textures niya. There are holes. It looks like it's been worn and lived in. I use it as simple decor lang here sa center table and it's been working so well with the color palette. Ties the rest of the home beautifully together. Now, appliances naman tayo. Guys, gusto ko lang sabihin na hindi to sponsored ha. Lahat to binili namin or bigay sa amin na so Sobrang functional and we've just been loving so much kasi halos everyday namin siya ginagamit. Firstly, we have this Hana Bishi oven. It's a convection oven so it works like a turbo. It can also be used for heating up mga leftover food. Yesterday, we cooked an entire chicken along with some big mussels in here. Yes, nagkasya silang lahat. Yung chicken nandun sa tray, tapos nandun yung mga big muscles nandito sa isa pa niyang tray. If you guys are wondering, 23 liters to. I wouldn't say that it is too big. It is actually the perfect size. And apart from that, syempre, mas healthier option to than getting a microwave. All my life, I've lived with using microwaves in order to heat our food. And it is totally unhealthy, especially since, you know, we have a history of cancer. If you want to stay away from complications as such, then I would highly recommend that you switch your microwave to an oven. It is faster, it is healthier, and it is much safer. Next appliance na grabe guys, sobrang love na love ko talaga. Hindi ko inexpect na magugustuhan to ko to kasi lahat ng tao sinabi sa amin, mag gas range kayo, mag gas range kayo. But then we were like, you know what? Parang mas matipid yung mag-induction cooker and magkakaroon pa kami ng extra space kung saan namin supposedly ilalagay yung gas tank. So we got ourselves this induction cooker. It is from Emarflex. It is a single burner. Now, bakit kami kumuha ng single burner? That's because meron naman kami ibang mga appliances that can also do some cooking. Yesterday, while my sister was making the sauce dun sa induction cooker namin, my mom was baking or cooking the chicken inside of the convection oven. The best part about this induction cooker is that you can adjust the temperature. 60 being the lowest and I believe 270 being the highest. You will never reach 270. Ang maximum wattage nito is about 1,800 but you will never get there. You will always just stay on 1,000 or like 800 watts which is equivalent to about 100 degrees Celsius. I have never needed to go beyond 180. I rarely go 180. I'm usually in the range of 60 to 160. It's functional, it's sleek, it's not an eyesore to look at when you look at the kitchen because it's the first thing you see when you walk in our home. And it's space saving as well. Dahil nga single burner siya and induction cooker pa siya, you won't need a gas tank and it won't end up taking much 
counter space. Next appliance that I have been loving, tada! We have this Emore Flex 4-in-1 multi cooker. Adrian and I got this for 1,800, but it was actually gifted to us. So thank you so much to our titas for gifting this to us, kasi sobrang helpful niya. Guys, so nung bumili kami ng induction cooker, nagtaro na on things like hiccup. Ang nangyari kasi is meron siyang kasamang free na pot. And then, nire-recommend nila na bumili kami, but then we were thinking na okay lang, may kasama namang free yung mga gamitin namin. Ginamit ko siya na sumunog siya kasi I think yung free, hindi naman talaga siya para sa induction. To make things worse, that was my first time cooking ever. So, I became like a chef zilla kasi hindi na nga ako marunong magluto na sunog pa yung nag-iisang pot ko. Kumagawa kami ng tinola, so we were like, you know what? Let's make use of this multi-cooker instead and let's just see what happens. So that's exactly what I did. Dito ko ginawa yung tinola namin and guys, it worked so well and our tinola was phenomenal. Adrian loved it. Moving on to the last appliance for this video. Actually, sobrang dami ko pang appliances na gusto kong pag-usapan sa inyo like TVs, sound bars, and whatnot. But for now, ito muna. Let's keep it minimal. Pang house tour na yung iba. So this one is probably my favorite appliance out of everything because it is just so functional and it cooks so well. This is the reason why we opted for a single burner in the first place. Ta-da! We have this Philips air fryer. Thank you so much to Raymond for blessing us with this wonderful, wonderful air fryer that we've been using literally every single day. Guys, grab it tong air fryer na to ha. It is such a trooper. All you have to do is literally put in the chicken or longganisa or fries or kung ano mang gusto mong iluto sa loob ng to, bacon, pwede din, pwede rin niyempo. Tapos nun, siguro cook it for around 10 minutes. Check mo kung hindi pa pwede, 20 minutes or less. You can always keep checking and just pushing it back in to see whether you have to cook it more or ready na siya. And then voila, you have yourself some ulam. Ganun lang kabilis. You don't have to do anything. Siyempre, kung yung ulam mo kailangan na may timpla, timpla mo yon. Pero ako, kung wala, fried chicken, ayan, ibababad ko lang siya dun sa breading. Tapos nun, ipapasok ko na siya dito. And then, you got yourself fried chicken after like 20 minutes. It's just so easy to use. Lalagay mo lang siya and wait for a few minutes until your food is prepared. Ganun lang kabilis. Guys, everything that I've talked about on this video, the appliances, I will link all of those in the description box below. The skincare as well, and as well as yung handles to mga pinagbilin ko ng ibang mga vintage pieces or ceramics. Parang for now, gusto ko maghintay bago ko i-share yung mga favorite furniture pieces ko. Kasi nafe-feel ko na malapit-lapit na yung apartment tour natin. May onting touches na lang na gusto ko talagang eat week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Marami pa tayo yung mga wife-like vlogs coming your way. A lot of home decor and home-related videos. Have I said subscribe? If I have, then subscribe again. If I haven't, then subscribe. I'm leaving you with love, hope, and faith. For today, you watched me, Michael Luis, and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye, everyone.